A 72-year-old woman is in the intensive care unit. She was placed on a ventilator days ago after suffering respiratory distress when her chronic severe emphysema worsened. Your mother had a stroke that affected her brain activity and the treatment we gave her isn't working as expected. Will she recover from this? I don't think she will. Your mother is in a persistent comatose state. I'm very sorry. I know my mom didn't want to be like this. How long will this last? She is very ill, and I'm unable to say how long she's going to be unresponsive. We need to talk about all the options. We don't want to see our mom suffer. Is there anything, anything we can do to let her go and to avoid all of the suffering? Can Mrs. Gonzalez's daughters hasten her death to avoid the painful state of her condition? In other words, can we terminate our earthly lives or the life of another because a physical or mental condition is judged as painful? Can we accelerate the inevitable process of dying? Two terms are currently used to mean this, euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide. Euthanasia is either taking an action or not taking an action that intentionally causes the death of someone to alleviate suffering. Physician-assisted suicide is when a doctor is allowed to help a patient end his or her own life. Catholics may never condone or participate in euthanasia or assisted suicide in any way. Would this mean that we are obligated to use every possible means to stay alive? No. It is acceptable at the end of one's earthly life to let nature take its course and refuse medical treatment. For a better understanding of the type of care one may refuse, please see the video on treatments. Dying patients who request euthanasia should receive loving care, psychological and spiritual support, and appropriate remedies for pain and other symptoms so that they can live with dignity until the time of natural death. Please take time with your family and loved ones to discuss your end-of-life care wishes in light of your Catholic faith. Your parish and diocesan offices are available to serve as a resource. At Catholic hospitals, there are also chaplains or ethicists to guide you as well. <laughs>